right, the formula for the nth term in the sequence is 1, 3, 6, of the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10 is n times n plus 1 over k, where k is an integer. Find the value of k. All right. So now we have been given the terms of the sequence. So the, the first term, the first term in the sequence, okay, the first term in the sequence is 1, which is n equals. The second term in the sequence is 3. The third term in the sequence is 6. The fourth term in the sequence is 10. Okay, this is the sequence here, and that's its position. Now, it says the formula for the nth term is given by this formula. So, for example, if I consider the first term, if I consider the first term of the sequence, that's when n equals 1, right? So, if I substitute that into the formula, I have 1 times 1 plus 1. I'm replacing the n by n equals 1, okay? over k, that should generate the first term of the sequence, which is 1. The first term of the sequence is 1. So that should equal 1. So you have 1 times 2, which is 2. Okay. Over k equals 1. So you have 2 over k. 2 over k equals 1. So k is equal to 2. Simple as that. Okay? Then it says, test your formula when n equals 4, showing your working. So now the formula that we've got is n times n plus 1 over 2. So when n equals 4, you have 4 times 4 plus 1 over 2. 2 cancel with the 4. So you have 2 times 5, which is 10. And that is the fourth term of the sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4. You know that is correct. But it works. Okay? And um, part C, find the value of the 180th term in the sequence. Well, we have to put n equals 180. That's it. n equals 180. We have 180 times 180 plus 1 over 2. 2 times 180 gives you 90. So you're left with 90 multiplied by 181. And when you do 90 multiplied by 181, so you have 90 multiplied by 181, you get 16,290. 16,290. And there we have part C. Okay? Um, move on to part D.